What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal walkthrough. Okay, so we're finally back here in uh, Pewter City, the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful city. And uh, yeah, you guys probably had a, good, a nice laugh in the last episode when I struggled trying to capture that god dang Snorlax. Yeah, it was a... Uh, oh my god, I was struggling. Okay, so... You guys are in for a nice treat right here because I thought of something pretty fun. Uh, wait till we get to the gym, you guys will figure it out. But here we are, Pewter City, the first city that we ever go to to get a gym badge, you know, at a, you know, in Pokemon Yellow. At night, Clefairy come out to play at Mount Moon, but not every night. Oh, wow. That's good. Nice to know, nice to know, buddy. And if you go right here, guy's like, I like snoozing with the radio on. Okay, so he's asleep. That's good, that's good. Good stuff. Good stuff. And, uh, well, let's see. As you guys probably already know, Pewter City, there's not a lot of things to do. Welcome to Pewter City. That's it. Oh, wow. Jeez, uh, they really, re they really watered down this place right here. He's like, Pewter City, a stone gray city. It's not really stone gray anymore because, you know, there's, there's a lot of stuff. Lots, lots, lots of stuff. And, uh, well... One big thing that you guys can do here is talk to this gentleman. Talk to him. He's like, ah, you came all the way here from Johto. That brings me, that brings back memories. When I was young, I went to Johto to train. You remind me so much of what I was like when I was a young man. Here, I want you to have this item I found in Johto. We find ourselves the Silver Wing. Something very, very important that we need later on in our adventure right here. And what does this guy say? Going to new unknown places and seeing new people? Those are the joys of travel. Why aren't you traveling, man? I mean, eh, never ask the questions. Uh, yeah, that's probably the only good thing about this place aside from the gym. And if you talk to this guy, he still has his Pokemon as his pet. Yeah, that Pokemon is still as his pet right here. And, uh, yeah, not a lot of stuff. Now, remember back in the day... When there was a secret entrance right here, there's nothing anymore, as you could probably, if you could probably tell, there's no entrance. They like literally took off the entrance to the museum, which is uh, kind of funny. Uh, it says right here, there is a notice here. Peter C, uh, the Peter Museum of Science is closed for the renovations. Wow. Okay. Lots of renovations. Lots and lots of renovations right here. And we're going to grab this. And uh, it's a mint berry. Okay. It's a mint berry. Alrighty. Alrighty. And we're. Oh, no. I shouldn't be doing that. Uh, let's go right here. It's a fruit berry. Cheese, ice berry. Okay. It's full. I'm going to grab that later on. Um, so, like I said before, before this, have you visited the Pewter City Gym? The leader is a rock type gym leader. Like I said in the beginning of the episode, you guys are in for a treat. I'm going to do something here that, you know, I probably won't be doing in quite some time. Peter City Gym, uh, Leader Brock, the Rock Solid Pokemon Trainer. Now, what I'm going to do right here first is I'm actually going to uh, save the game. No, I do not know of a new glitch or anything. It's just something very, very special. We're going to go into this gym. Totally renovated and all that fun stuff. I'll, tr I'll show you why. Talk to this guy. Yo, champion of making. You're really rocking hard. Are you battling the cancel? Oh, wow. Wow. Really suck at reading, guys. I'm sorry. This is third third episode in a row. All right. Yo, champion of making. You're really rocking. Are you battling uh, the gym leaders of Kanto? They're strong and dedicated people, just like Johto's gym leader. Wow. It's like he's talking to me like we just started our adventure right here. Wow. Okay. So. Here we go. We're gonna go, we're gonna be, you guys are in for a surprise right here. Really, really big surprise right here. So, here we go, bringing this guy on. The trainers here, or the trainers of the gym use rock type Pokemon. The rock type has a high defense. Battle, uh, battles could end up going long, a uh, long time. Are you ready for this? Heck yes. Alrighty. Again, I, I hope you guys are ready for this because this is, uh, this is gonna be a fun, fun episode right here so here we go camper jerry coming out with his sand slash finally evolved his sand slash and here we go go hydra number two <laughs> okay well what i'm going to be doing for this episode right here guys is i'm going to be battling brock with nothing but pokemon that i have already nicknamed as you can see i got hydra 2 sweet boom the sweet coon 
Lucky, and of course that uh, pesky uh, <laughs> that pesky uh, Snorlax that I have there. I named him Tank Two. Razor, and of course, if things get a little too hairy, we got Nessie right here. So, here we go. Let's get this. Uh, Surf Attack. That's right. We're gonna destroy the crap out of this Pokemon Trainer. Oh, yeah. Love the sound of the voice right there, or the sound of that noise, and that's it right there. Say goodbye to Sand Slash. Hydra 2, gaining some experience points that it needed for some time, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> this guy's like, I have to win these battles. Yeah. Okay, all right, so that's one guy down, and I'm going to start off with this right here. I'm going to start off with Razor. Everybody is going to get a battle, and like I said before, Nancy's here just in case. Everybody else is just there for show. Not really for show, but we're going to be battling right now. Uh, this guy, <laughs> this guy right here is going, uh, he, he's in for a, a, a sweet surprise right here. Totally new Pokemon and uh, all water type Pokemon right here. So, here we go. Brock. Wow, it's not often that we get a uh, challenger from Johto. I'm Brock, the Pewter City Gym Leader. I'm an expert at rock type Pokemon. My Pokemon are my Pokemon are impervious to most uh, physical attacks. You'll have a hard time uh, inflicting any damage. Come on! Alrighty. So, here we go. It's time for Brock, the gym leader, and he's got five Pokemon right here, and he's coming out with his Graveler. There we go. And let's go, Razor. It's your time to shine. So here we go, going on to our next screen right here. You guys remember, Brock, first gym leader in Kanto if you played Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. Uh, in Red and Blue, Yellow, or Red, Blue, and Green, he only had a Geodude and an Onix, well, like level 12 and level 14. In Pokemon Yellow, the levels got reduced to level 10 and level 12. Now, right here in Pokemon Gold, Red, or Gold, Silver, and Crystal, he has a level 41 Graveler, has a Defense Curl, Rock Slide, Rollout, Earthquake, a Right Horn, level 41, Fury Attack, Scary Face, Earthquake, Horn Drill. He does have Omastar, a Rock and Water type Pokemon, has Bite, Surf, Protect, and Spike Canic, and he does have his Kabutops right here, which is both a Rock and Water type Pokemon, does have Slash, Surf, Endure, and Giga Drain. And in his final Pokemon, Onyx at level 44, Bind Earthquake, or Bind Rock Slide, Sandstorm, and Bide. So it's going to be a fun, fun battle going back right here. Let's do this. Going with the sunny day right here. Oh, yeah. We're going to brighten up your day. Let's go. And uh, we better beat him. Yeah, we better beat him before he, he eliminates us with that rollout attack right here. So here we go. Solar Beam for the win. Hopefully for the win. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Say goodbye to Graveler. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my God. And he's going to be using an Onyx right here. So I'm going to go with the man, the myth, the legend. Let's go with Sweet Boom right here. Now, the reason behind the name Sweet Boom. Yeah, I wanted to switch my uh, my Lucky 2 to Suicune. But unfortunately, you know, I, I thought ahead and I was like, you know what? Let's not use a legendary. Let's keep it true and let's go with let's go with a, a new, let's go with a lucky for just a few more episodes until we eventually trade it up for Lapras right here. And uh, wow, this guy is like attacking me straight up. Alrighty, so let's go with that combo move that Sweet Boom is known for. You know that combo move: Rain Dance and Bubble Beam. As you can see. Bye bye. That's right. Sweet boom, just kicking some butt right here. That's that's two Pokemon down, and he's coming out with his Kabutops. So I'm gonna go with Lucky right here. Alrighty. Now this is a scary portion right here because Kabutops does have Giga Drain, and I am four times, I am four times a weaker on this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an earthquake. But oh my god. Oh jeez. Oh, jeez. This is bad. This is bad. This is going to get hairy right here. Oh, my God. Okay. Let's get that earthquake. Come on. There we go. Does it take it away? Finish it. Oh, nearly finishes him off right there. Let's go again. And, ooh, Giga Drain just... No, no, no. 
Oh god. Oh god. Okay, so we're gonna... Oh god. That Kabutops is a strong Pokemon right here. So, we're gonna have to go to a Pokemon that, you know, will not be affected by it so much. Let's go to Tank 2. There we go, Tank. Let's do this. Ice Punch. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Surf Attack. Doesn't take that much. There we go. Ooh. But not that effective. Okay, and yes, it does still have leftovers right there. And, uh, you know what? Let's go with that Rollout Attack. Oh, oh jeez, oh jeez, okay. Come on. Ooh, nearly defeats him right there. Ooh, okay, okay. You know, I thought I thought Brock was gonna, you know, going to heal himself right here, and it endured that one hit right there. But I keep on healing, and uh, here comes that slash attack. Oh god, oh god. Here we go. There goes Kabutops. Alrighty, and uh, it's gonna come out with the right horn. So, let's see, who should I come out with? Lucky's dead. Let's go with Hydra. Hydra number two right here. Alright, bring it on. I love the shininess right here. I brought po I brought Pokemon specifically for this guy right here. Here we go, for a specific surf attack. There we go. Will it go down? Can it go down? It goes down. Hydra 2 is a beast. And grows to level 31 just like that. Oh my god. Alrighty. It's just Omastar versus this one Pokemon right here. Let's go. Let's go, Razor. Okay. This guy right here. Level 42 against level 38 Pokemon. Razor's done a lot for us. The best it can do right here, it can just destroy Omastar with just a Sur or not a Solar Beam. Yes. Come on. Come on. Stay. Endure it. Not effective. That sunlight, very strong. Solar beam attack for the win. Finish him off. Finish him off. Finish him off. Uh, and it does it. And would you look at that? My all water type Pokemon. <laughs> and this guy right here. That's right. Would you look at that? Your Pokemon, your Pokemon's powerful attacks overcame my rock hard defense. You're stronger than I'd expected. Go ahead, take this badge. That's right, guys. I defeated Brock with a new team right here. There you go, guys. That's right, Boulder Badge. Draven, thanks. I enjoyed battling you, even though I am a bit upset. That Boulder Badge will make your Pokemon even more powerful. Okay. Is that it? The world is huge. There are still many strong trainers like you. Just wait and see. I'm going to become a lot stronger, too. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Okay, that that's... Okay, alright. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Yo, champion of making that gym battle didn't give you much trouble. That way you looked... Uh, the way you looked... Uh, the way you took a charge was really inspiring. I mean, that seriously. Okay. Alright. Cool. That's cool. Alright. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that little portion of, uh, of our walkthrough, you know, using different kinds of Pokemon, uh, Pokemon that I nickname, uh, and here are the Pokemon yet again, Razor, Razor the Victory Bell, Sweet Boom the Suicune, Lucky the Quags are, yeah, thanks a lot, buddy, yeah, this is the reason why I replaced you, uh, Tank 2, and a Hydra 2, and, uh, you know, Nessie on the side, you know, just in case, just in case anything uh, went bad or anything like that. Uh, yeah, so we might do that again for maybe the last battle against Gary. Or, you know what, I could do that for Cinnabar Island, you know. Just beat him like that. I don't know. We'll see. So, stay tuned, guys. In our next episode, we will be going into the Mount Moon area. And we will be uh, taking care of a few things right over there. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Thank <laughs> you.